It's Tuesday, October 14th, 2008. I'm James Kotecki. Welcome to the show. There's no doubt about it, folks. We are living in troubled times. A stock market undergoing wild fluctuations, credit markets under siege, our global climate in peril. And oh, by the way, we're fighting two wars and are under constant threat of terrorism. But you know what? I believe deeply in the resiliency of America because just when our outlook is bleakest, the leaders of our great country deliver the sweet relief for which we all pine in the form of a hypocritical political sex scandal. Sex scandal, sex scandal, what, 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 what scandal? And folks, this is good. ABC is reporting that Democratic Congressman Tim Mahoney paid $121,000 to staffer Patricia Allen, with whom he'd had an affair. Friends of Allen told ABC she sought to break off the affair when she learned Mahoney was allegedly involved in other extramarital relationships at the same time, which is sad because the guy you're having an affair with is definitely the last person you'd ever suspect of cheating. Allen's friends also say that Mahoney threatens that ending the relationship could cost her her job, telling her, you work at my pleasure. Unfortunately for Mahoney, he now works at the voters' pleasure. As for Mahoney himself, he says the facts will vindicate him, and he is expected to give a news conference in Florida today about the matter, wife by his side, classic. Because after all, Mahoney is the embodiment of family virtue. He was elected to Congress in 2006 under the slogan, Restoring America's Values Begins at Home. He defeated a little-known congressman at the time. You may have heard of him. Mark Foley? What? Yes! Tim Mahoney replaced the guy who sent inappropriate instant messages to teenage house pages. And while Mahoney's actions might be a step up from digital liaisons with minors, something tells me that using $120,000 to cover up an affair isn't the kind of home-based American value restoration that the voters had in mind. So while this election will perhaps be as easy for the Republican this cycle as it was for the Democrats last time, the real question is, what is it about Florida's 16th congressional district that makes it such a seething cauldron of sexual immorality? Whatever it is, I'd like to be the first to thank our Floridian friends for, for, for providing us once again with an easily understandable and fun-filled distraction from our tumultuous and terrifying lives. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash Kotecki for more videos. And don't worry, if you want to do my patented scandal dance, it's easy. All you have to do is wave your hands like this, move your body like this, and have no dancing ability like this right here on Kotecki TV. Okay.